let us continue with our lesson and that our app design is almost done and the next part is a coding so what we want to do is whenever the user click on this image we want to generate some random number and depending on that random number uh, from uh, one to six and we'll change the image over here so let's go back to our coding part so we'll go to the activity or our main activity which is our file if you go to the java and you go to the your package over here and you can see the main activity over here so java your package name and the main activity or your class file so this is our main activity class which is a kotlin class so what we need to do now is whenever the image is clicked we need to get a random number so for that uh, i will just go down over here and this is on create method on the on create method we will be adding as i have already previously mentioned that the uh, on create method is called whenever our application is first run so whenever before anything the content is viewed so this is the method that is triggered so whenever this view or this layout is going to load then this method on create is called and on create method the content is set so the activity or a main our view is loaded to our app design so let's go down and let me select this button and let me get the id so id each of this is dice image so when i need to copy this one and let me go back to my activity over here and just paste that one so when you paste that one the android studio is intelligent enough it will ask you to add some of the reference so just press Ctrl uh, alt plus enter from your keyboard then it will add a reference over here if you see it imported some of the reference which is kotlin x android dot uh, synthetic dot main dot activity so now using this reference we can make use of any of the view from here directly so i have a dash image view and i've just said dot set on click listener so let me use a on click listener here this one i will use because this has a lambda expression which can be used directly without setting anything so it's a very short code and if you are doing the same thing in java it's a very long processor we have a lot of code over here but is in a kotlin it's uh, very simplified and we just have to set the the dice image dot set on click listener and we have a expression that we need to set so we need to generate a random number so for that i will take a one create a variable so let's go over on the top and i'll just say as a var and this pair i will just say as a, let me say a random number so r a n d o m random and u m b a r random number and this will be of uh, integer data type and i will explicitly mention it and i'll just say as a default value as a zero and when the image is clicked i need to put some value inside that one and i'll just go down over here when the image is clicked i will say that this random number you just copy this random number is equals to i need to generate the random number from one to six so we'll be generating a random number from one to six only and because the the image that we have is only from one to six and the gameplay is if you remember we roll the dice is from we need to generate a random number from one to six and i'll just say dot and i'll say random so here the Kotlin has a built-in function for us to generate a random number using the keyword or a random method. So this will generate a random number and let's just test that one. So I will create one more variable over here. So I'll just say val tag and I'll say string is uh, equals to uh, let me create a string of a tag and i'll just say call as a main activity and here i'll go and log it just for a debug purpose log the e which is uh don't worry later i'll show you that i'll just say tag this tag is coming from here we have created one variable of a tag and i have added over here 
don't worry about the variables and the integer data type or a string data type for now and uh, i think we will be coming up with uh, whenever we after we finish this lesson so first let us build our application or game then we will be talking about the variables and all the data types then you will have more idea about it for now just focus on what i'm doing now over here just remember the concept is that generate a random number and to print out in a log or a console so first of all i'll just take log log is to use for what it is used for to log it in our or if you go to log cat over here you can see it, we can generate some log over here so that is for our debug purpose we want to know what it is generating right we just use a log to show it in a log cat over here so in if we select e that means the error if we select the i that means info if you select the d that means debug so we have a different option to select over here if you just say the uh, d that is for debug if you say for i that is for info if you say e that's for error so depending on your requirement i am just selecting e because uh, if you select a uh, debug then there will be a lot of code and you may find a bit difficulty to finding and i will just place it as an error because the error is a very less code and it is easy for you to find out right and so I will just use a E and after E I will just place this random number and the tag name comma and the, the random number that you want to so then I'll just put it as a two string convert it to a string because this is a integer a integer has uh, some like a uh, numbers from 0 1 2 3 4 that is a number and if you say string is a character the collection of character so that's it we have a uh, generate a random number over here i'll just comment this one so that's the more important so let's comment on genera generate random number and here what you are doing is we are so the random number in our log so random so not, that's spelling is mistake r a n d o m random number in our log so this is a log cat or we can just call it as a log cat from here so this will show the random number that we generate in our log cat so that's it let's go and run our application and test it okay so the app is running and uh, whenever you click on the device image you can see the random number is generated if you select if you click 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 you can see the random number generating and printing in our log cat so that is from here that is just a few line of code we are able to do a big thing so just a one and two line of code right so we are able to generate the random number and we are able to log it in our console file over here and the next thing is that after we have this number we need to change the image so whenever we get a number like a one then we have to place the image of one we get a four we need to change the image to the four that's it uh, so let's continue that one in our next lecture